by the time SDX had risen to prominence in Smash 4, Nakat was taking more of a backseat, just in the streamer role, kind of the waiting for ultimate role almost. And here he is, he's shown up pretty big. He got second at Wanted Ultimate in France. Oh, he's busting out oh, the Ice Climbers. Oh, is that yo, yo, is, yo, is please, he? Please do it. No, I, uh, wanna see, okay. I just have to see them once this weekend. <laughs> they need one match. Of course, Nakat, one of the best in the world with Ice Climbers and Brawl, not only uh, with the character, but just overall as a player. Mm. He was top 10, top 20 uh, by the end of it after you know, starting off as a, a relative newbie, right? He really rose to fame and, and dominance in the Tri-State region, winning a lot of tournaments over people like M2K, ADHD, Nairo at times. Um, but yeah, now he's doing it big with Pichu. I like that he kind of switches up his character choice in every game. Of course, always has had Fox at his disposal. But SDX, a Mewtwo loyalist here, and let's see if that pays off against the Cat, who's kind of just trying out one of the new, I'd say, flavor of the games, right? With Pichu being such a strong pick early into Ultimate, and also his good friend and teammate, Boyd. Yes, Boyd, of course, having an incredibly strong Pichu himself. But the Cat so far hasn't been able to land a hit on SDX's mighty Mewtwo. Yeah, this is kind of crazy. Just walling him out with the superior hitbox that Mewtwo has. Pichu so stubby, despite all his mobility. He kind of has to play like a Wario to some extent. Yeah, he really has to find his way in. He does, of course, have the Thunder Jolt to help in uh, improving his approach as well as uh, improving his ability to camp as well. But does, in the grand scheme of things, need to find his way in. Great down smash coming out from the cat, though. And that move is so terrifying. If you get caught with that at the edge around, I'd say, 90% as a character as light as Mewtwo, you're a goner. Yeah, that said, Pichu very light himself. It's crazy to think that these two characters are not too far apart in terms of weight, <laughs> although Pichu's still quite a bit lighter and First off, going to SDX. And the Pokedex, though, they are miles apart in weight. Yep. It's like four pounds versus about 260. Yeah, something like that. And now we've got the cat down a full stock, basically. Scrambling to get one off of SDX. Oh, misses the sweet spot on the up B. Getting the baby feet, but not enough to take the stock just yet. He's going to need about 20% more, probably, to be able to get the kill with the forward tilt. We've seen the cat scheming here. Looking for a forward tilt, but I don't think SDX is going to give him the neutral getup he desires. And also, I'd be terrified of Shadow Ball right now if I'm the cat. Yes. I think this projectile war might not be the best choice. Of course, when you do a full hop Thunder Jolt, you have to land after it. Mm -hmm. So SDX can just react to that, throw the fully charged Shadow Ball, and pick up a kill. Great, great tech coming out from SDX, allowing him to live to see another day. Excellent call out and a jump, and that'll be the second stop for the cat gone. Maybe we should have seen the Ice Climbers, man. I don't know. The Cat's Pichu, though, very strong. Got him, again, all the way to second place at Wanted Ultimate with a little help from Lucina, if I recall correctly. I think against Meru in Lucina's finals, he had to use her. Could see a similar story here. Not sure what the switch will be or if we'll even see one. The Cat still with a little bit of a chance to bring this one back. Of course, coming back from such a huge lead as Pichu is very difficult since you have to damage yourself in the process, bringing you ever so slightly closer to that last hit scenario. Yep. The cat really needs to be meticulous with those combos as well. He needs to be able to rack up damage as much as possible in as few neutral exchanges as he can. And he's doing a good job so far, but almost getting the tech read with uh, him. Oh, SCX stage diving with that forward air. What a take the first game. What a drop zone fair that was. Taking that real early, and that's something that he hadn't done Throughout that entire game, you know, and the cat was the one going very aggressive off stage, but SDX just had to kind of put the reminder in his mind that yes, I can come off stage with you. That said, the cat still quite impressive. I liked his up air to down air loops with Pichu, very reminiscent of Falco's Pillar from Melee. Mm -hmm. Just a slightly modified version. Of course, we don't have any moves quite as good as the spacious shine in this game. Yeah, those were kind of nutty, but and part of what makes Melee so interesting. Of course, yes. And here we go, Nakat gonna stick to his guns. Pichu locked in for the second and potentially final game if we get our repeat performance from SDX. That said, Nakat, a very tenacious player. He's been doing this for years, man. So we'll see if his experience is able to carry him through, keep his head on straight, and not get shaken by that almost devastating game one loss. He's off to a much stronger start this time. Doesn't didn't take a load of damage at the start like he did before. Excellent up tilt into uh, up air into down air. Find a two frame Mewtwo's recovery with the down tilt as well. Quite sure that does work. So could have potentially gotten another spike or at least some juicy combo damage. But either way, SDX coming back in a big way has already evened up the percents essentially. 
Oh, and there we go. That's what I was saying. FTX can just throw the Shadow Ball through the Thunder Jolts and not have to worry. Of course, it's going to be a much chunkier hit. Pichu does not want to take percent trades. Yeah, this is definitely a projectile wall that is not in Pichu's favor. You know, Mewtwo's fantastic speed and mobility just allow him to really effectively dash back and start charging that ball, at which point it'll get to a point where it's too strong for the Thunder Jolt to contest. And also, SDX has a reflector at his disposal in the form of confusion. So we really don't want to see the cap playing this full screen game all that much. If he can help it, either way, he's going to take the first stock. Already a significantly better start than the last game where he almost got zero to death, it was looking like in the beginning. Mm. The cat looks like he's finding his footing in the set here. Yes, gonna spike him right into the ground. No tech chase, but still, compromising position for SDX to be in right now. We're gonna see him have to press on the gas pedal just a little bit. And he overshot the grab that could have been the kill he needed. Yeah, he really needs to close his gas as soon as possible. You know, even though Pichu is a very tiny character, he actually is incredibly scary with rage. He does have a plethora of powerful kill moves at his disposal. Yeah, those smashes, forward and down smash particularly, yeah, so destructive if he manages to land them. Of course, Mewtwo, with all that range available to him, it's going to be tough to actually find his way in. You probably have to catch a landing. SDX finally finding that KO with the up throw. Still just as strong as ever as it was in the previous game. Teleports back to center, just going to hold position here. Smart from SDX not to press too hard despite not being in the lead right now. Cat, though, still keeping himself extra tight at the edge. Doesn't want to give SDX any predictable rolls in or rush his way back to center. And just the way that the cat is making use of moves such as Nair, just doing the full hop Nair. Oh my goodness, what a two frame with that, with that down smash. <laughs> the cat just exploded off the screen. That move has so much knockback too. You don't want to be taking that as the lightest character in the game. Just yeah, like that, just the lead that the cat had evaporated. He was looking really, really strong. Now he's the one that needs to take the stock as soon as possible. SDX stalling out his recovery, just making sure he's not too predictable for Nakat to get a two frame. Of course, teleport recoveries with no hitbox on the return. It's very easy to intercept. Mm -hmm. Once again, these trades definitely not in the cat's favor in this position. He needs to be able to take the stock. And a ill warranted up smash coming out from SDX would mean the end of his stock right there. Yeah, Pichu being so tiny, no way is he going to get hit by anything other than the grounded placement hit from that up smash. And since that didn't connect, that was just going to be a clean whip. The cat, though, still knocking on death's door here, 100% to virtually zero. But he's cooking right now. The momentum's on his side. Mewtwo going to bear his way out of the combo. This is still potentially the end of the road for the cat. But we'll he, has, see. he has to play this incredibly well if he wants to make this comeback from here. Excellent neutral air right there, and I'm really liking that from the cat. He's making really good use of those rising neutral airs to interrupt uh, SDX's buttons as he's rising. You see that Shadow Ball fully charged, ready to go. Not going to be able to power shield that. You have to bet on being able to parry in order to escape with no shield damage. But SDX, I think trading with an up air yes. against the cat's down air to close the set.